Hi, it's Marie from Timelapse Cameras. I'm going to walk you through how to update the firmware on your Fittis Timelapse Camera. For this walkthrough, I am showing you on an iPhone. I have my camera currently off. It is not powered on. You need to select your Fittis Timelapse app from your mobile device. Then select firmware at the lower right hand corner. As you can see, download firmware is available. Latest version is 4082. You will select download firmware. Then you will get a notice. The camera firmware has been downloaded. Please connect the camera and go to the setting page to update the firmware. Turn your camera on at this point. You will hear a beep. A green light will come up. Then you will go over to your settings menu, select Wi-Fi, select the camera that you are updating your firmware on. Go up to the settings menu, the flyout menu, the three bars, select settings, select firmware upgrade, select OK. You will hear a series of beeps while the camera is upgrading. The camera will cycle through another series of beeps. The LED will flash at the same time. The camera will shut down. The app should close down. Select OK and the app closes down. At this point, go back to your settings, your Wi-Fi settings. Power your camera back on. Waiting for that long beep. The camera will pop up on your Wi-Fi network. Select your camera. Target back to your Ephidus app. Select the camera icon again. And you are ready to begin recording. Let's double check those settings again. So the menu fly out, select settings. And now you should see that your camera version is uh, the most current version at 4082. Now that your firmware is up to date, now is a great time to check those bats and stats. Batteries, for every new project, always start with a fresh new set of brand name batteries. Stats, check your card status. We generally love to always pull our content on a monthly basis and get it backed up on our computers. Leaving your cards and your cameras for your long-term projects, hmm, if you lose those cards, you're going to lose your footage. That's why I save all my footage every month and I archive it per month. Those are my tips for today. I'm so glad that you checked your firmware and we got you up to date. Stay tuned for more tips. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.